the truth. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Crypto David and today we're going to talk about Quant QNT and the title of the video is today, Quant is like having a winning lottery ticket. Every time I accumulate purchase Quant every week, every month or so, I feel like I'm winning every single time. When I buy one Quant, it feels like I'm buying, you know, that 10k. I'm literally putting from $100 into $10,000 every single time I pick up one QNT, and that's a plan, you know, that's a price that I want to sell at in the future, taking profit 1k, 5k, and then 10k. So I'm going to go further into that concept. Got a lot of Quant news, as you can see, by how many tabs are above market news as well. So it's your first time to the channel. Please subscribe, leave a like down below. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, so I want to say thank you for 2,000. 700 subscribers like the video share it tell a friend let's try and get to 3k by the end of the month now in my last video i said if you're watching this video on the 20th of july you are very very lucky you're lucky you're watching this video you're very early and watching this video right now you are even luckier even look at the watch list right there's 200 000 people interested in qnt is on their watch list but the holders there's only 59,000, nearly 60,000 people invested in Quant. So think about that in terms of the whole crypto market and everyone in the world. And now I quickly want to go over the price of Quant. We're at $98 per QNT and people are going crazy on Twitter within the Quant community because we are pumping in a bear market. Now, when I've seen people on Twitter as well be quite sad about not accumulating at these lower sort of levels at $50 and $60 per QNT. Now I can't relate because I actually accumulated quite a lot at these lower levels with my DCA method that I set up and now I'm steering away to projects that are staying still or going down even further. But at the same time, I wouldn't go against you for accumulating at $98 per QNT because I've definitely bought higher even at the peak of Quant as well. So I think it's a good purchase if where Quant's gonna go in the future. I wouldn't be too fussed about purchasing at 60, 70, 80, 90 is all a good purchase in the end of the day. But it's up to you though. First of the day here is by Oracles for Startups. Could a new digital currency that works with local currencies unlock a wealth of cross-border opportunities? Here's how Quant Network and LAC Chain support interoperability with blockchain. We are seeing top Fortune 500 tech companies show Quant on you know, a regular basis that we're seeing on Twitter here as well. And let's go to some of the stats of Oracle. So 133,000 employees, 40 billion total revenue in 2021 and 20,000 partners across the globe. And the partnership between Quant and Oracle will allow these 20,000 partners to use Quant's overledger software. Do you realize how insane that is? As well, another tweet here by Quant Network themselves. 1,900 people have taken our intro course with King's College on Overledger, the world's first blockchain agnostic API gateway. Learned how to write apps in a dozen different coding languages that run seamlessly across most blockchains. Not only are you tackling payments, supply chain, compliance, capital markets, digital currency, list goes on and on. They are empowering 27 developers, 27 million developers to become certified blockchain experts. And if you're interested in becoming 1,901, definitely go and check that out and sign up. As well, down below quant tweets, I wouldn't you know, talk about price or ask like, you know, too many questions. I think it's a bit unprofessional and just leave them to do what they do best. As well, web free reviews, Quant received a high review score of 9.5 out of 10. I don't know how you know. Officially, these guys are 13k followers. I haven't actually seen these guys before, but Quant's goal is to unlock the power of blockchain for everyone. Quant has world-class partners, clients, and solutions that impact the real world. Very, very true. 9.5 out of 10. And I agree with Sam down here. What is missing to give it a 10? And truly, I don't think a project could be a 10 out of 10. There is always room for improvement. Um, you know, there's never something that's a solid. 100% guarantee investment, but if it had to be one, I would choose Quant as well. Blockworks, a lot of people do not like this. Minecraft announced a ban on NFTs. A lot of people are, you know, angry at this sort of stuff. I think the majority of people that play Minecraft are small little kids, and I think it's a good idea to not get them involved with NFTs. But I definitely think they will come back around the future and, you know, adopt NFTs onto Minecraft. And I think they did a blog report as well, talking about NFTs, you know, what is an NFT, explain that. So it seems quite, quite strange why they've actually banned NFTs as well. Crypto God John, I haven't heard this guy before, but it's these big names getting involved with Quant. And, you know, I have all his followers, 400,000. How many do you think is going to see this post and actually, you know, 
think what is Q&T? A lot of people look up to these, you know, influencers and, you know, agree with every decision that they actually make and pick up quant. So you might see the wallets actually rise as well. I think it was, who else was it? Digital Asset Perspectives started talking about quant to his XRP community. So more and more people are going to be involved with Q&T. And here we have Hermes Lux. Quant, I'm still buying up to 111 QNT. He is down 45% and down $8,300. His average buying price is 153. Now, has he seen his money down a lot? Sold his bags, called Crypto a Scam, called Quant a Scam, uh, spread fun on Twitter, done all that sort of charade? No, he's played the game correctly and is playing it correctly right now. He's de seen his way down in bearish times within the whole market. I like as well he took a picture so you can look back on this picture when it's you know 2023 2024 2025 and realize that he's made the right decision we also have an article here quant network fast company now we talked about this in the last quant video but there's two paragraphs here that i want to read and quotes from gilbert viridian himself so the speeding cost of payments and remittances remain a key challenge for business owners exporting products in latin america they often have to wait weeks to be paid. It comes down to cash flow. There's a lot of uncertainty and you have to, you can't have transparency of where your money is and how long it will take to get paid. So it's a case of wait and see for the business owner, says Quant's founder, Gilbert Bridian. So to solve this issue, LSC Chain uses blockchain and integrates it into the core banking infrastructure. Users can then receive payment in the form of new digital Latin America dollar straight away and redeem it as a local currency from their bank. This part here is the most important. Real-time digital assets uh, make getting paid instantaneous. All users need is a phone, says Gilbert. And Ali Sinchin as well have already, you know, fulfilled with their services. I think 1.6 million people. It is insane. I will lastly leave you guys with a video by Quant Network. CBDCs have helped prevent the 2008 financial crisis. Gilbert Viridian believes so, as explained to the fellow panelists. Talks about how, you know, they could have saw the risk, prevented it before it came to the situation what was very insightful by Gilbert Viridian as well on the community section I asked a question how many of the ISO 2022 list do you hold the most vote one is five plus and I'm the same option as that I'm guessing the people who watch my videos would at least have one obviously it's not a zero option but I'm guessing that would be the case be sure to follow me on TikTok daily TikToks post some about Quant all the products I talk about and just various stuff on TikTok and post some of them to my YouTube Shorts channel. If you may just find a video, thank you very, very much for watching. Please leave a like down below and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. I think CBDCs have their place um, and it really comes back to the, the resilience and the risk in the system. So if you, if you have a central bank on the wholesale end, which issues a wholesale CBDC, and then that authorization of the wholesale CBDC allows commercial banks to issue commercial and regulated stable coins. They are interlinked. So, so the risk to the system is visible at all times back to the central bank. And, and this is something that we didn't have during the financial crisis. And if we had CBDC type technology in the financial crisis, we could have had visibility of, of systemic risk you know, very early on before it became, you know, as, as a crisis and, and what happened. The truth.